removed from the rest of the molecules. Okay. Now the last kind is a screening of bacteria by replica plating. Now what is uh, replica plating? As I have already talked to you before, that this is the master plate, for example. Uh, and also this master plate uh, containing bacteria ha is having the ampicillin resistant pattern or ampicillin resistant gene in itself. Now what will happen if we lift the colony with a velvetin pad. Now this velvet pad will have an imprint of all this bacterial cell onto it. Then you take this pad and put it into tetracycline resistant medium which is a free of any bacteria in the first. So it's a sterile medium. We uh, place this replica plate onto this new medium which is having tetracycline. Now among this master plate containing bacteria, some bacteria are only ampicillin resistant, some bacteria are tetracycline resistant, some are both ampicillin and tetracycline resistant. Those bacteria which are only tetracycline resistant cannot grow onto this ampicillin plate because they will be killed by ampicillin. Some, uh, and those bacteria which are having ampicillin resistant can grow onto this plate. Now, and also those bacteria which are resistant to both ampicillin and tetracycline can grow. So there are two possibilities uh, of different type of bacteria that can grow. Now what we can do, we take an imprint onto this velvet pad, then you push it. This will be called the replica plate because it's uh, creating the actual uh, replica of the master plate. So it will be called a replica plate. Then you place it onto the tetracycline containing medium. Now after pressing it into the tetracycline containing medium, if we look at any kind of growth uh, onto this new tetracycline containing medium, what we can infer is that this kind of bacteria are having tetracycline resistant gene. Or we can also tell that those bacteria which are having tetracycline resistant gene can only grow onto this tetracycline uh, containing plate. Okay, so the bacteria which are having both ampicillin as well as tetracycline containing uh, tetracycline resistant genes uh, can only grow in this tetracycline resistant media as well as this master plate. So by looking at these two plates, the master plate and the now new plate, we can tell that these three regions, these three cells or this three bacterial culture are tetracycline resistant culture and the rest of them are the ampicillin resistant culture. So we can take these cells out and we can extract that DNA and we can do the further job. Okay.